everybody, everybody know where to find us at. Uh, we going you, you want to, you want to run that? You want to run down that one more time? Uh, okay, just a uh, double back. Um, if you want to follow us at the morning show, let's argue with Prince Carlton uh, on Instagram at the morning show, let's argue on Twitter at let's argue show on fan base at let's argue show. If you want to follow Prince Carlton on Instagram and Twitter at underscore Prince Carlton underscore and on fan base at Prince Carlton. And if you want to follow said Linus, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and fan base is at said Linus, C E D. L I N U S. Uh, also, we're on uh, YouTube at Let's Argue Show, uh, and we're um, and then, uh, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you can catch all the videos and all the clips. And uh, we also uh, put a, a lot of the full videos out on uh, fan base, uh, so subscribe to us on fan base as well. So that's how we move it. Absolutely, you can catch us at uh, South by Southwest uh, in Texas. Uh, if y'all want to interview. You know, I mean, come find us. We we're gonna be at the uh 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 this Friday we'll be at the armory, you know, uh, um uh for the boxing match, Shango, uh Shango James, um boxing match at the armory um this this Saturday, man. So y- y'all come out, y'all come out and uh say something to us. But we about to get back into I, I was saying earlier, we talking about Rihanna cover with ASAP Rocky. Uh, it says uh, Rihanna is, is reborn. Rihanna reborn. Okay, the, the cover, again, the Vogue magazine cover has Rihanna on the front just, you know, strutting her stuff kind of, you know what I mean? And she's holding the hand of her husband who's way in the background um, uh, with the Tupac vest on and the baby. And and leather, leather vest on, you know, what I mean? leather vest and leather pants, right? Like his leather pants, leather mm-hmm. pants on, holding the baby. Okay, I, I posted this up, and it, it, it was a lot of. I posted this on social media, and I also seen uh, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins so crazy because, like, the day after I posted it, Dr. Boyce Watkins had, t- had an issue with it too, and he posted, you know, what I mean, both images up just like we, just like we did, you know, what I mean. Yeah. Um, so, so, um, uh, the, I'm, I'm just, the, the cover, the cover is so, uh, let, let me, first, let me get started with this. Let me tell you what I don't have a problem with, because I think a lot of people kind of got a, a lot of stuff messed up. Okay. Yeah, the conversation up. Right, 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 right. I, exactly. Exactly. Um, so. The the black unit and the black baby, I don't have a problem with at all. No, 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 no issue with whatever. What I do have a problem with, what I do have a problem with is the demasculization, the feminization of black men that's been going on in the media that has been going on for a while now i'm talking about i I mean i mean well first we was what we was thugs right the first we was we was gangsters and thugs back when i was growing up we saw us on tv we was the gang the people who robbed you and stuff you know what i mean now we we skipped we skipped the family guy we we we, i I mean we was we we had three episodes we 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 had uh, uh, uh uh um we had the Cosby's. We had a uh, Full House. We had we we had a few of those, but that wasn't a. Uh, uh, we didn't have a. Um, we still was portrayed more as thugs and people steal from you and stuff on TV during that time, anyway, right? Right. Oh, oh okay. So then after that, we was then after that it's became it, it came into this field where we were just feminized men. That's what we're currently in right now. Feminized men. We don't have no backbone. We we uh uh what was the queen? What was the Queen Latifah uh 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 Queen Latifah Netflix joint with Ludacris? We run for uh, she had to save him from everything. He runs from everything. In, any any Netflix any Netflix film, if you check if any Netflix film, you will see that what's going on in Netflix. They have ninety nine. Like if you see a black woman, it's a white guy with her. 
they 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 so so the white guy is with the black woman now and he's strong he's masculine he takes her shore or flies her all over the world is a you, you know what I mean? It, it, when they show the black men, we the scared punks. We wearing dresses. We we always gay on Netflix. We always gay on Hulu. We we gay uh, just we we just feminize men all the time. And, and it's so it go ahead. And, and like I always tell the story about uh, us even getting into the media space. I always talk about how we used to really love magazines. And we used to go to right. Barnes Noble and get magazines. I'm talking, about, <clears throat> we, we, we magazine. You know, have to be with shoe heads. We magazine heads. Every right. week we get some money. We would go to Barnes and Noble or Borders, and we would go buy magazines. We'd go buy GQ, Complex, Slam, Source, Double XL, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Men's Health, just 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 whatever. And then uh, Antenna. Remember Antenna magazines? Well, Antenna was crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah, what I'm that, 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 that was a that was a pause, the thick joint, right? Yeah, the quarterly, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. But then it got to a point where I started going into these stores and I would look at these magazines and I would see black men that didn't reflect not only myself or any black men I knew. And when that started happening, I what I started, I had to do the knowledge on it. And what I realized was that. The people that's telling the story through the through the camera lens, through the editing of, of these magazines, they're not telling it from the black male perspective. They're telling it from outside of a black male perspective, it, it, as in this is what we want black men to be, or this is what is a, is a acceptable behavior that we like, or this is a non-aggressive filter we're putting on these black men you know what i'm saying you start to see guys like pharrell wearing more you know what i'm saying more feminine gear and yep. you know and, and things of that nature and and, and and but hiding behind fashion you started to see men wearing more of women's clothing um right uh, and, and then, then they'll also try to mix like really like hard street looking guys and feminize them and put them in women's clothing as well. And it just never set well with me because I literally don't know any street guys who wear women, women's clothing. So, so, so when I look at this cover, the first thing I said was, I'm not mad at the picture was taken because I, I can see how this picture can be taken. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you take a million pictures. Uh, the, uh, uh, even going back to when Ray, uh, that group Ray Shrimmer, the brothers, they was on the cover of uh, Yep, yep, uh, um, Fader. They was on the cover of Fader. Why, right? why, why, why I want to call them Ray Shmurda? Uh, you you mixing Bobby Shmurda and you know, Ray. No, I know, I know, I, yeah, I know, I know. I thought it was a name, but <laughs> but even to that is like, I'm not mad at the picture being taken, but why was that picture chosen? Right and. That's the same way I feel about this this picture with Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, and the baby. Why was this picture chosen? And if you look at the picture, what it is saying is that Rihanna is the head. Rihanna is the powerful one. Rihanna is the one in charge. And ASAP Rocky is the nurturer. And these are, these are two gender roles that are flipped from where it should be in the Black community. Uh, uh, or just in in society, period. And so they're doing me, a, me, me, they're doing a flipping of gen, uh, uh, of gender roles. Now, <clears throat> I do know ASAP Rocky. He wear he wear uh, 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 painted nails and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And stuff like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But like y'all, it, he looks like he's five one compared to Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just, it just. What it just, they do, yeah, man. You know what they do when they get it in the editing school. When they get it in that yeah. studio, they be making them smaller, yeah. all type of junk. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and ASAP, ASAP is not even like a. Uh, he's not even like a. Uh, um, like a feminine guy. He he's really not. Like if you hear him talk and you hear him, right, like, right. He's, a, he's kind of an aggressive guy. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. Like to have him depicted like this. 
I don't know. <clears throat> That's why if I ever did a magazine, especially something big and vote, I would have to have a be able to write off on what the final thing is because I never want to get caught like that. You know what I'm saying? But right. uh, <clears throat> but right. And, and, I, and, and hey, I'm gonna say this on pass to you. And I understand. I understand letting your woman get shine too, and being like, I'm gonna be on this cover, but this cover is more about her. I'm gonna let my woman get shine. Yep. I understand that too. But guess what? I just saw the the time cover with um with Meghan Markle and uh 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 Meghan Markle and um uh the other boy. Uh, you got it, you, yeah, 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 Prince Harry. I, I, yeah, Prince Harry. I don't have it up. And he's standing behind Meghan Markle with just his, his hand on her or whatever like that. It's highlighting Meghan Markle, but it's still showing that Meghan Markle is protected. Bro. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? Yo, and see, 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 that's the thing. So, uh, like, uh, a girl came to, like, kind of late to our conversation, like, on social media. She put, like, it, it kind of makes me upset that because he's letting his woman get the shine. Sometimes you can let your your woman get the shine. This ain't about, this is not about Rihanna getting the shine. This, like, you, any real person should be able to look at this picture and see a problem. Like, this is more than shine. He could have been facing the camera, been up there with her, and still gave her the shine. He's yep. back there, he's back there looking like a nanny. Like, like, he, he looks like a caretaker he looks like a caretaker of the baby. He doesn't even look like he he dates her. You know what I mean? And, and, and see, and, and and see, and see, people people don't understand. Like, see, black men, we're allowed to tell our own story. See, and, and, and see, and that's what. And I had a lot of white liberals. Our next episode got to be on white liberals. We had a lot of white liberals come on my post, and they have a problem with what I said. This ain't about y'all. All you got to do is be quiet. All you have to do is be quiet because we know that you don't care about the black community. What the black community needs is strong male, strong masculine men protecting the community. We Young boys need to see masculine men, not wimpy guys who wear dresses and stuff. That's what the black community needs. We don't care. Y'all can do, y'all can do whatever you, you want to. Don't come over here talking about, oh, why do you have a problem with, listen, listen, do whatever you want to do all the way over there. What we need, just like, see, this is the thing. Like, those white liberals would never go to a native a native reservation and go in there and say hey you know what you guys need to do to the men never. You, they, you see but they feel like with black people they care they got all type of say all type of opinions and all type of stuff just get, stop it just leave, leave us leave us alone stop talking to us you know what i mean stop stop saying uh, anything to us man you know what I mean? And, and, and see, that's the problem with white liberals. I always say that white liberals are the Judases of the black community. Like, like they, they the ones who hang with you and they say, oh, rah, rah, rah. We love black people. We love diversity and all this. But they always support agendas that want to see less of you. They want to take your guns away from black men to to what? To to you can't protect your house. They want us to they want they wear shirts to say. I support black women and abortions because they know that less of us is what they want to see. They they don't never they had never wear no shirt to say white women, white women. I support white women and abortions. They always supporting black women and abortions. Then they want to wear a shirt to say, oh, oh, I support black trans or I support black gays. Why don't they support the white the white gays? Why don't they support the 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 white trans? They always throwing support behind something that has a zero sum. It, does, it doesn't create more black people or nothing. They always throw their hat behind something that, that creates less of us. You know what I mean? And and um, <clears throat> like we've been knowing, we've been knowing that for centuries that this been happening. Like, like the media has had an attack on black men. We go through we go through life and we talk about systemic racism, systematic racism. <laughs> we, 
we 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 go through we 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 talk about we talk about um uh uh like all type of things that 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 uh uh uh, uh white people stole our 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 music language we can't get jobs because of them we can't we spilt the juice we can't get nothing because of because of them they put us in, in you know what I mean in slavery they did all this stuff those those people can acknowledge that but when I tell them there's an agenda to feminize black men they are like oh oh man what you mean by that what you what you talking about Willie what you talking about Willie Hey, they, 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 they ain't trying to do that. Why would they do that? It's, and it's so crazy because the people, the guys who say that, they must just be, they must be gay. That, that's what I'm thinking because they must think it's, it's something great. It's something great with being, be, being gay because they, they are like, they are like, it's, it's a pro at the end of the day of that. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm, and I'm trying to show people like, I'm trying to show people that this is what's going on. Black men is calling it out. Y'all listen. That's all y'all need to do is listen. See, that, that's the problem. The problem is that black men are calling it out. And, 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 and why are we the ones that always got to get second guessed? Like, yo, like, 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 it's so quick. I think you, you damned hold if on, you. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I know, I know, you, well, let me cut you off real quick. Is a camp, is all this camp, believe black women, believe women. Believe these people. Oh, transgenders got a voice. Transgender kids got a voice. All of these uh, children, children, babies have a, all of this stuff. But as soon as a black straight guy tells you what's going on, uh, and nah, nah, they ain't they ain't what's going on. Why are you like that? You're so homophobic. You're so this. Ah, oh, ah. yeah. you're a whole tip. You all yeah. of this stuff. Yeah, ridiculous. It's so funny because they always say, "Oh, well, we need we need black men to step up for the community." But then, but, but then when black people step up for the community, y'all got so much to say. <sighs> like yo, just, just like yo, let black men step up. Man, it, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. Then, so, 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 just to just to bounce off of that, Ebony drops the cover with Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors is the Jonathan Majors is 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 what I call. I, I don't I won't know. I, I don't really know about this, but like Denzel, you know Denzel. He, he's the Denzel. He's the new Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Hold on, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is 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 kind of like the new Denzel, but Jonathan Majors, he he's creeping up. He's creeping up on. He's creeping up heavy on uh, on uh, 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 Michael B. Jordan. You know what I mean? And, and and women love Jonathan Majors, and and I'm talking they they really they really love uh, Jonathan Majors. And then of course Ebony drops the magazine. He's in pink, wearing the pink uh, cape and pink hat, and just. Duck face, duck lips, and all type of stuff. Ebony is in on it too. The media, this is what the media does. They see strong black men and they love to feminize them. They love to feminize uh strong black men. This is their agenda. Um, and people always say, Who is they? You tell well, me you've been in the you put, tell me you've been in this world as long. You don't know who they is. They is the one who who they is the one who got you that daggone COVID shot. Who said you you must take this COVID shot and tricked you out and the junk and had no benefits to it and all is is poisonous and why everybody got my myocarditis and all this other stuff. That that's who they is. That's and, if we were, if we want to know. And look, and, and uh and uh. Shout out to Jonathan Majors because he, he he's an excellent excellent actor. He's an excellent actor. I, 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 man, shout out to hey, yo yo shout out to Jonathan Majors, bro. Hey, Creed <laughs> three, Creed three, Creed three coming out. I'm behind it. I'm supporting. I, I'm I'm trying to go to an early screening. I'm trying to get tickets for a lot of people to go see that too. Yeah, the first time I saw Jonathan Majors was in uh, uh Lovecraft. Nope, the last black man uh in San Francisco. Mm. Incredible, incredible movie by San Francisco. Um, <clears throat> um, but uh, Jamel Hill, if y'all know who Jamel Hill is, she you know she's a writer um, or whatever. But she um, used to work for ESPN's 
Now she does a lot of social commentary or whatever. Uh, she said, uh, she posted a picture up, but she said, she said, uh, 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 did anybody try to uh, uh, emasculate a uh, 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 prince? You know what I'm saying? She was like, she's like Prince would have took this picture. He would have had high heels on uh, and booty out, and he still would have been looking sexy or whatever. So don't come to me with some, you know what I'm saying? Some just, he whatever. was always on the wrong side of the tracks about everything. He's like, dang, what? No, she she just has a uh, she has a, a a a true hate. She has a true hate for um for black men. You know what I'm saying? And that that's pretty much what it is. I don't know where it stemmed from, but that's the reason why we're always on the opposite side of what she right. has to say. Because yeah. we have for black men, but <clears throat> but um, but when she posed that question, the first person I thought of was my dad. Because I used to play print. I'm like, yo, dad, listen to this print song or whatever. And my dad used to be like, yo, I don't like no prints. And when we, yep. when me, me and the people <laughs> roll, roll with and grew up with, we ain't like prints. Because prints used to wear blouses and butt was all out and stuff like yep. that. Go to no Prince concert, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying so. So there are people who thought Prince was. And, and if you, you you could also go back, this is a jewel too, because this is on uh, YouTube somewhere. Look up Terrence Trent Darby. Terrence Trent Darby, you know, uh, uh he sing "Wishing Well." Wishing wish well, yeah, yeah. Wishing well, kiss and tell. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm you know saying he was on Arsenio Hall. And and uh, and he was saying that the only way to have a number one hit is that you have to be feminized, bro. Hey, 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 get get that get that audio. Get, get that get that audio. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. okay I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, um, you have to be feminized. He was like, look at Michael Jackson. He speaks in a high voice, long hair. Look at Prince. He his high notes. You know what I'm saying? He wears women clothing or whatever. And he was even on some junk, like, look at me. I got long hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, like that's the only way they go <clears throat> or to be that big superstar is when you black is if you got to be, you got to have feminine traits as well. You right. know what I'm saying? So, so it all goes hand in hand. Look, and I'm about to scroll up on the, uh, I'm about to scroll up on the, uh, on the, um, Freeboard real quick, and uh, you can see how they got. Uh, you got Victoria Beckham with uh, with her husband. Yeah, uh, David Beckham. You know what I'm saying? They got him higher up. You know what I'm saying? They got him looking fierce. You know what I'm saying? Then you got you got George Clooney and Giselle. You know what I'm saying? Like, looks like they in a relationship. Then if you scroll back up to actually, you know what I'm saying? ASAP Rocky and, and Rihanna. I mean, ASAP Rocky looks like he's like the baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. it's just, that's just the way it yep. looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, <clears throat> this, like, this type of stuff we, we've been knowing about, you know what I mean? This type of stuff going on. You know what I mean? I, I, we need, and, and, and somebody posed a question to me the other day and basically said um, they have the choice to turn it down. Why, why they have the choice? Don't they have the choice to turn it down? And I and I told them, I told them, I told them what you said. Two things can be right at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, 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 it could be an agenda going on, which it is an agenda going on, yep. and the person doesn't turn it down. It, it's so crazy because, like, when people are promoting movies and people set it up, and somebody come in there and be like, "Oh, Jonathan, we got this." You know, we got this shirt that that is going to really bring out the the women going to love it. The da 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 da, all this stuff. Like it, it, it takes it takes somebody who understands the agenda to really turn that down and not do it. You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of these actors and actresses or musicians and stuff, they they don't understand. Like they don't really understand the the um they don't really understand the full agenda of um. Of what's going on, they don't understand. They they not sitting back like like us and saying, "Oh, you know what? This COVID nineteen thing. Oh, Bill Gates uh, owns the most farmland." And da 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 da. They not doing that. You feel what I'm saying? They not, right. They just worry. They just worry about acting. You know what I mean? And making more money. You feel what I'm saying? So <clears throat> a lot of people aren't up on that. You know what I mean? A lot of people aren't up on that. And and, and, and I, I mean. 
a, a lot of times they might not have the right to turn it down. Once they yeah. agree to the cover, it's a lot of time they might not have the right to say, oh, no, nah, that ain't going to be the cover, or I don't like that. Sometimes it, it ain't up to them. It's probably in some sort of contracts. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I would guess re- they were running past Rihanna, you know what I'm saying? But, I, yeah. but I, that's for sure. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> we, um, uh, p- people gotta, people really gotta, people really gotta, uh, uh, uh see what's going on. I, I feel like if they, if they start taking, a lot of people can't see nothing. Like, 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 like they can't, they can't see anything. You know what I mean? They don't understand what's going on. They're the same people. It, it, it's people on my post. They try to argue with me with everything. It's like, yo, I, and they still mad about, they still mad about that. I was right about the the I was right about the, the the pandemic. You feel what I'm saying? They they mad they mad that I was right about the pandemic. And then they coming on my post. Hey, they mad that I was right about the pandemic. So everything I say after that, they got a problem with. They got a problem. And it's like, yo, you were wrong. We don't we don't listen to you no more. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. But but uh uh um once again like I say once again I want to say the same systems, either you believe in, in, in systematic uh, 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 white supremacy, systematic oppression, all these different systems, and system this and system that. If you believe in all of that, then make sure you understand and believe that there's that same system in the media and, and, and they're doing a number. <coughs> Excuse me. They're doing a number on a uh, black man. And we're speaking up. We're speaking. We are black men who are speaking up about it because it's hurting the community. That, that, that's, that's it. That's it. Right. What, what does anybody else got to say about that? They should have nothing to say about it. Whether you disagree or not, did you have nothing, nothing else to say about it? But um, you know what I'm saying? That's my last words on it. You got anything to say before we uh, head out of here? That's it. God bless, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all share with your people. Uh, 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 find us in South by Southwest. God bless. We love y'all. If you want to watch full interviews, make sure you head over to the Fanbase app and subscribe to the Let's Argue Morning Show.